Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at Dying Light 2 on day of release. I streamed this for about four hours over on my Twitch channel, so don't forget to go and follow me over there if you want to catch me live. I'm streaming most days. I've just got over COVID, though, so that's why I've been AFK for a little while. Lack of videos and streams, but I'm back. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Dying Light 2, on the other hand, is very impressive as of the state of games these days. Uh, it's pretty solid, fairly positive release. And it's more Dying Light. So if you enjoy Dying Light 1, this is probably going to really be up your alley. It's really solid. I haven't tried co-op yet, but for the most part, I didn't I didn't run into any massive bugs in the single player portion that I've played for about four hours. Very solid. It runs really well. I've got it maxed out with Ray Tracing, DirectX 12, all of the good stuff, all the bells and whistles. And I didn't have any issues and frame timing was fine. I had no micro stutters. And... I'm very impressed so far with the game and I had a lot of fun on stream. I will be getting some co-op gameplay in soon with probably Joe and maybe Kirk and, and some people. And we'll uh, we get some gameplay of co-op and some impressions of that. But as far as the actual single player game from the start goes, I'm very impressed so far as a day one release. There was a day one patch that fixed over a thousand bugs, I think, which is good that they actually did that. Because a lot of games release with thousands of bugs and this actually fixed a lot of the issues day one. And I didn't notice any, um, nothing out of the ordinary. And uh, the game was solid. I didn't, I didn't run into any issues that stopped me progressing in any way. Uh, animations, sound effects, all of that is top notch. What you'd expect from one of these games, and the 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 visuals are really nice, really crisp and sharp. Character movement is as good, if not better, than Dying Light One, and it's just, it's just amazing. Just going around the the city and uh parkour and all that and finding different ways of getting about and uh exploring it's just another good game it's uh definitely a good one amongst a bunch of i don't know what developers are doing these days releasing broken games but it's definitely not one of those broken games it's, it's a good game it's solid so if you are a fan of dying lights and you've been looking forward to this i probably i could, I could recommend it I, I honestly can i'll leave you with some gameplay though so you can get first uh impressions uh, the first kind of hour or so of gameplay, I'll put footage here on YouTube. But I thought I'd just give the quick lowdown of my impressions so far. Very impressed. And uh, yeah, I would recommend if you're a fan of Dying Light and you've been looking forward to this one. And if you want to see some more gameplay, it will be following up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and the video gameplay I've got for you. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time. And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Yummy. Got to find some chamomile, uh, Q. Yeah, this will do. I'm going to grab all of it. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying. Uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you. You just might go on living. Something growling in the, uh, in the woods there. New blueprint, I craft menu... Uh, received your first blueprint. Blueprints are plans that allow you to create accessories, consumables, weapon modifications using various craft parts. Scavenge during exploration. This is where you store all the craft parts you collect. Read the craft part description to see how they're used and where you can find them. Hover over the medical uh, blueprint and hold left mouse to craft it. Medicine. 
So I can only craft one. Come on, we're almost there. Where we going, mate? Let me in. This Let me it. in. Come on. There's something down here, man. How do I get in? Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Who lives in a house like this? Damn it. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Search. Can I help you now? Are you going to find another way in, or what? Okay, I, I gotta find another way in. Okay, I should really listen. Damn, this is a nice place. By then, the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. I was actually supposed to read this newspaper. Kind of collectible, I guess. someone it means it's time to go what the f what the hell was that kind of attitude to have man that is weird i'm gonna s steal this laptop I think he was joking. I think he was winding us up. And that's what they called art? Looks really nice. It runs very well, uh, though this is the early section of the game. I'd imagine once we're in the big city, it's probably going to tank my FPS. But we are running absolutely maxed out. Ray tracing on. Oh, excuse me, moi. Oh, 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 shit. Ah, who do you voodoo from uh, Dead Island? That was Dead Island, right? Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Uh, at least until night falls. True. <sighs> I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly, he knows something about Waltz. 
Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, <sighs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. Okie doke. So we've got to head up to the radio antenna and tune into 140.200. Hold tab, current location extended on the HUD. Which way do I go? Uh, down. Need a kick. Ah, oh, biters. Looting for scraps. Oh shit, could I have come in there any louder?
Hello? Get all the honey. Gotta climb up this uh, area here somewhere, maybe. Oh. Stay down. Oh, I gotta climb through this bus. What? There we go. Up this way. Uh. I expected that to fall when I got to the top. <gasps> Don't fall. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not want to fall down there. Okay. Run! Beautiful. I can hear forest creatures, man. That ain't forest creatures. He's looking at me. He's look. Uh, some enemies use power attacks that deal massive damage and could knock you down. When an enemy is about to use a power attack, his elf power starts blinking red. Dodge to avoid hitting. You can form a dice press while moving back or to the side. Oh, shit. Get up. Oh, God. Heal. Oh, God damn it. Kill your brothers and sisters. What you gotta do about it, boy? <laughs> Fucked you up.
It's alive! It's alive! Safe zones. You've unlocked the first safe zone. Increase your network or respawn points. Your network of respawn points. All safe zones are equipped with UV light, which guarantees safety at night. Additionally, each safe zone offers access to resting place where you can change the day night phase. Yes, please, because I don't like the nighttime in these games. And Aiden's stash where you can leave your excess items. I time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? It, yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. Okay. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry. There's a lot of them about. Don't mind me.
Oh, go, 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 go. Ooh. Man, do we have to go in another tunnel? I don't think I got a torch. Hello? Looking very juicy in here. Is anybody there? Oh, shit. This doesn't look good. Oh, my God. your time man are you all right fuck your bit me a volatile lots of those fuckers in the sewers we must get to the light quickly where's me uh, later we have to move <laughs> resist it it'll pass just stay strong. Here you are. We've been looking for you. And what about this one? Uh, he's dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Let's go. What? I swear. And now I have a torch. Where'd they go? Let me slice them up. Like to see you do that. Bring it! 
Oh. Uh, right to block uh, very fast moments. Perform a perfect block. Staggers an enemy, make it a vulnerable threat. Okay, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I need to do a perfect block three times. Got him. You ain't gonna live. Oh, more. For him. You we... idiot, he'll kill you if he finds you. Dylan! Fuck. Get to the vent. This way. You first. What are you doing? Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! Fish high. The one. Oh. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey, fellas. Let They're gonna go. smash him up? Yours. You can't. Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him. But he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. Someone's here. In the bed! Get him! Let's get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. Is this? 
He doesn't have a biomarker. Oh, wait, I... He's fucking turning! Kill him! Quick! Hang him! Let's watch the fucker die! Oh, no. He hasn't turned. Seems? Hakon, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah! Fuck my head. <sighs> you were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all, and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I... I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. It monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it, uh, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you turn. You need a biomarker, and I know where to find one. Come on. <laughs> He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, Hakon. <sighs> she adores me. Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was... I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Huh. I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. Uh. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. 
Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but... You need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. It does look good. Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. A special unit? For seven years. I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. I ended up driving a cab. Ouch. Now the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you! At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh, come on! Oh, I ran out of stamina. I think. You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Ah. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in him. Check it out. I'll wait. Roof groves. While traversing through a Velador, look out for roof groves. Places of dense vegetation recognizable by their tall yellow trees. Ah, okay. Great source of honey, chamomile, and other resources you can use to craft medicine and other consumables. There's a chance you'll also find sort of forgotten weapons there as well. Places like this, in case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. What's that? C crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. Oh, hold on, I haven't... Uh, there we go. Oh, okay, I'm coming. So, you 
have an army here? Ugh, the peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Uh... I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. No, no, leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. It contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fisheye. We'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. <laughs> Find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick. Ah, crap. UV light is a symbol of safety at night. It is a certain protection from infected. So watch it. Uh, watch for it when uh, being chased. Hold Q to use your survivor sense and mark the nearest source of UV light at night with the uh, purple sun icon. Close. Go on. Okay. Over there, toward the light. Can you hear that? We're almost there. A bit further. Stand in the light. Uh, Hakon, uh... Come on, open up now. Hakon, a howler's coming. Oh, fuck. Biomarkers. There's no time. We've got the howler on our asses. Biomarkers. Did you hear behind us? I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Open up. Oh, oh, oh. You piece of oh. Oh, it's cold. We need to get to Killian. 
Ah, oh, great. They almost got us. Don't look back. Run. I'm not gonna look back. I'm not gonna look back. Faster. There's more and more of the maiden. I kind of, I kind of got lost a little bit. Killian, it's me. Open up. No friends here, huh? Killian, keep them busy. Killian, fuck you, Killian, come on. Killian, I trip over my body this morning and get killed. Gillian, should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left soaking you. Oh, come on. Stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you... That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. 